Are they words? Is there something that, because, and, you know, we talk about, like, what they could say back in the 80s and the 70s, even on, on, on tele sitcoms. I mean, the Jefferson and, 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 and all uh, Archie Bunker, all in the, I think all in the family. Yeah. Um, man, you can't talk like that now. No. Nah. How do you, how do you navigate that, Gary? Well, honestly, I can't say the N-word. Um, <laughs> that's what you're getting at. I go, uh, but yeah, I can't say that. But I think live comedy shows, mm -hmm. you're fine. And that's why they, we don't want your cell phones out. Right. Because I think people go to shows with a level of expectation. And if you don't meet that expectation, they're disappointed. Right. But some people want to hear the uncomfortable shit. Yeah. You know? Sure. And I'm like that. I think, you know, but that's the thing. Like, you got to ask yourself, is it worth it? For me to stand on my two feet and say, I'm going to do this joke. I don't care. I say what I want. Is it worth it if you get the backlash? Because eventually it's going to come. And are you, have you created a strong enough fan base that cancel culture can't mess yeah. with you? Because there are people like Chappelle, he can't be canceled. Yeah. Ricky Gervais, he cannot be canceled. Uh, Andrew Schultz cannot be canceled. I would think Shane Gillis right now, he can, a cat can't be canceled.